Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Thank you again for this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host. Well, we're just going to get right into the business of this matter aspect of it. And, you know, here in the Portland metropolitan area, downtown Portland, on June 4th, there was an issue. It was a Sunday, if you will, and there was all sorts of a, it was, it was, quite, an, it was quite an event, if you will. Uh, there was all kind of unrest and this, that, and the other and whatever. And, uh, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm still saying, it's still in, within my own mind and a lot of folks' mind, it's still unrest. Nobody knows why it, why it even happened. And so this particular show, what we're going to do this hour, is that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about what did happen, why did it happen, and where do we go from here. And what we're going to do with that, the way we're going to do that is that I've, I, what I've done is that I've gone out and I've talked to a couple of people that, that may represent maybe uh, each side, not necessarily the total aspect of it, but folks who were involved in the, in the, in, in the, in the issues that we were looking at Sunday. And uh, so I've got them on today. I've got two gentlemen out here and very neat guys. Now here I am. I'm still at, I'm still at that senior citizen age. You know what I'm saying, Joey? But I got, I've got Joey Gibson right here to my, to my, my, my right to your left on the on the on the, on the tube, and I've got Joe Walsh who's going to be on after after this, and we're going, he's going to spend 30 minutes with us. And uh, Joe is going to basically talk to he was he was the guy that basically uh, uh, got the permit, if you will, right? Yeah. And 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 I'll, and I'll just in a crude way, the set, the First Amendment, freedom of speech, so to speak. That that came out in in some of the marketing and this, this that and the other, and then some things transpired with reference to that. And then Joey, on the other hand, I, I've known him in many ways. You might have seen Joey at City Hall. He's, he's probably the only guy that I know of, but he's a hard nose, you know, because he's the Department of the Marine Corps. Joe, Joe, Joe Walsh. <laughs> he's, he's there. But Joe and I, we've been around for quite some time. But anyway, Joe has been very much involved in, in issues uh, at City Hall, and you'll see him, and we'll, we'll, get some we'll, we'll get some response from him also, too. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, I want to welcome Joy. Joy, welcome. Thank okay, you. Joy's dad just here. And uh, we're just going to get right into this issue aspect of it. And we'll start off, Joy, from the standpoint of just real briefly, who's Joy? you got an organization. The name of the organization was? Patriot Prayer. Patriot Prayer. That's mm -hmm. kind of an interesting kind of a deal. Yeah. What would you come up with that one? Kind of real quick one. Well, it came down to two things, I guess, uh, freedom and God, basically. Okay. So okay. that's where it came from. So Patriot Prayer. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. And how long has the organization been in existence? Been uh, f maybe five months. Five months? Yeah. Wow. That was. And what, what, what spurred you to get into that arena type deal? Basically, what happened was uh, San Jose in California last year during the um, Republican primaries, there's a Trump rally, and a bunch of people left the rally, um, and a lot of them were um, yelled at, cussed at. Um, there was some violence, some people were attacked. Mm -hmm. Um, there's that woman who was getting all those that eggs and stuff thrown at her mm -hmm. and it was that moment in time once I, I realized that America is changing it's turned into a different place um, and I also realized that a lot of that violence a lot of those kids who are attacking those Trump those Trump supporters probably don't know the full story and probably didn't, aren't even gonna vote mm -hmm. and I felt like they were being used um, and so I went down to the RNC, um, once Trump had won the primaries, I went down to the RNC in Cleveland and walked the streets for a week and, and I saw... Republican National Convention, that time? Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. In Cleveland. So once Trump had won that, um, so I went down there and I walked the streets. I got a camping spot and I basically walked downtown for a week straight. Mm -hmm. And I met a lot of people who didn't like Trump, didn't like, you know, the conservative, you know, mm -hmm. libertarian point of view. Um, but a lot of them were passionate and a lot of them were good people and um, some of them weren't good people, but a lot of, you know, a lot of them were a lot of them. But the one thing that I noticed is all of them were passionate mm -hmm. and that affected me. And so I realized, though, that the street belongs to the left. And so I came home just passionate and um, I learned a lot and I was committed to bringing the libertarian conservative movement to the streets. And you, you, you're married too, right? Yeah. Married, kids, yep. what? Yeah, married well, kids. Your kids, don't <laughs> You do as you're told. Yeah. Home, right? yep. <laughs> yes, sir. So you, you got into this picture, but you are a Trump supporter. I am a Trump supporter, okay. but I do not worship politicians and we have three more years 
Let's see, you know, I, I like that we're investigating him. I think that's a good thing. Let's investigate everything. Let's get mm -hmm. everything out on the table. Mm -hmm. I believe every single president that we've had since Reagan, um, I believe we've, we, were, we saw anyone with half a brain was able to see that they're corrupt, mm -hmm. you know, once that first four years was up. Mm -hmm. So let's get through these four years and let's have an honest conversation about what he did, what he accomplished. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, Trump will either make our government smaller or make it bigger. Mm -hmm. The corruption will either increase or decrease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters to me. Um, and so that's what's important to me. And I have an open mind about it. Um, and it's also it's not just about politics. Mm -hmm. It's also about um, our, our culture. Uh -huh. I want to change our culture. I believe we have some cultural poisoning going on right now and it doesn't matter if we get the best president in the world the best mm -hmm. politicians in the world the people are going to have to solve that problem the government will not be able to solve mm -hmm. that you know you know you, you make a good point there because before the election the population they were always taking taking polls people were all upset with the whole issue of politics yeah and, and even in Washington, if you will, he wanted to clean as well as the, and that's where that term clean came out. Clean the clump. Was it clean? Uh, was it clean the swamps or something that? Drain the swamps or something that nature. So that atmosphere was already there. Oh, yeah. And then we then when we got into formality, if you will, of, of running for office from that same group aspect of it, all of a sudden that was sort of like set aside. Mm. But the issue was still there on the minds of the folks that were objecting. And yeah. I think that's where that divide, the major divide came from. Because you know it's kind of like saying who's in the White House, who's not in the White House. Right. You got me. Yeah. So, so I, I just want, I wanted to throw that that particular piece in. Now let's get back down here to Portland, uh, the fourth of June, if you will, and and uh, you've got a you've got a permit for that. And then the issues were already stirring around right at that point in time, and it's and, and so let's talk about one. You got a permit. What was your rationale for getting the permit? And then at one, at one point in time, then all of a sudden this, this excitement about there's going to be some problems. And then I guess the mayor approached you from the standpoint of why don't you withdraw the permit, stuff like that. Just yeah. go any way so you want to go. Actually, the mayor, never even, the mayor never asked me. He never did? No, he said he did, but he never did. We, he set up a meeting with me to meet on a Tuesday. He went out and did a press conference on a Monday and said that he's going to ask the federal government to pull my permit. And then I went in to meet with him the next day, and he said, Joey, I'm not here to, I want to respect your First Amendment rights, and I want to make sure everyone's safe. That's why we're here right now. He never asked me to, to not do the event. He never asked you to no, pull it? Not, not even through his, his uh, administration, not through the police, no, no one. But that's not um, what was said in the press. You absolutely, know what I'm saying? yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there were several people in that room, so, um, you know, he never, and, you know, and, and I told him, I said, well, what you said yesterday, it sounded like you, you don't want to respect my First Amendment. And also another thing you said yesterday is, is it doesn't seem like you wanted to make it safe because if he really wanted it to be safe, he would say exactly what happened with Jeremy Christian, what happened in terms of, he doesn't even have to say Jeremy Christian has nothing to do with us, but he could say Jeremy Christian showed up to this event, this, this march, and he you know caused a huge, he was yelling and cussing at everyone, causing a big problem. And a bunch of people from our group continually asked him to leave. Even, you know, we're in a public space, so legally right. we can't. But, you know, and the video is out there. And he had an opportunity to, to calm down Portland. Let's make the protest about my ideology, not about two men who, who gave it all, you know. Because mm -hmm. Jeremy Christian is a hateful man. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, he didn't make it very safe. And then they had that town hall meeting. And, you know, that lady's calling me a terrorist and this and that. And he just kind of... And you know it's whatever. I don't. I don't want to make this about the mayor and myself. Right, right, right. I just right. think that he needs to step up and be a leader, and um, do what he thinks is right. Mm -hmm. It just seems like when I talk to him, he just seems like he's afraid. He's a, he's afraid to speak out for what he believes in. Um, I think that he's concerned about his voters, which is under, he's a politician. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so basically, the whole thing for me, of what I want to do, what what I'm really passionate about is going to the most liberal areas. Okay, and just going in there and having an opposing point of view. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. And it's about promoting freedom and Christianity. And people can be against that. People can disagree with it. Um, but let's do it in the right way. Let's not do it. Let's not do what Antifa does. Mm -hmm. And I know they don't represent all the left, but let's not make threats. I know threats come from both sides, but let's not make threats. Let's not yell. Let's not scream. Um, let's not cuss. Like let's let's come together and let's have a disagreement. But let's not try to chase people out of town. Mm -hmm. That's happening too much. And so that's why I'm, I'm saying at a certain point, 
I've said this many times at a certain point as a nation, we need to be against all forms of hate. Mm -hmm. We don't get to be against hate 50% of the time or this or pick and choose. We don't get to use hate to fight hate. Mm -hmm. We need to come together and we need to say we can agree to disagree. Okay. But let's be against all forms of hate. Mm -hmm. Let's say that, that white men cannot be hateful to black men. Black men can't be hateful to white men, brown, whatever. Women should be respectful to men. Men should be respectful to women. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Let's look beyond. I think there's this idea that we're allowed to pick and choose. So a lot of people, you know, on the extreme left will say that it's okay for a black man to be racist against a white man. Mm -hmm. I think that that's poison right now. Mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. I think that we should love each other and respect each other. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. So okay. Now let's get back to that permit piece. Now you went, you took you got a permit. Through the federal government. Through the federal government, right. And that was right in front of uh, what's the Shrunk, Shrunk Park? Terry Shrunk Terry Plaza. Shrunk Plaza aspect yeah. of it. Okay, fine. So you got the permit. Now you're having the deal. Now, when did, this, when did the confrontation stuff start, if you will, about here? Confrontation started like eight months ago when I threw my first rally. <laughs> like, what do, you, what do you mean when did it start? Antifa's been following me around for a long time oh, now. Oh, gee. And I, know, I know that they don't, you know, and a lot of the liberals have teamed up with them. Um, but yeah, they've been following me around and, and they don't like my message, you know, so they try yeah. to drown it out and yeah. they spread lies. Some members of Antifa, I have to admit, are older and mature and have reached out and I've had excellent conversations with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And they have opened my eyes to specific people who are a problem. Mm -hmm. He didn't, they didn't, they believe me that I'm not a Nazi. Mm -hmm. They don't they, they label a whole group as Nazis, but they point out specific people. And mm -hmm. so, and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, that's important. And I appreciate mm -hmm. that. And they opened my eyes. Okay. So now you got, you got the permit. Okay. You mm -hmm. got the permit and you're having the event, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was pretty well secured too. I guess the federal government was there. The highway, the uh, was state highway, I guess the officials were there. Yeah, Portland police. Portland police were there. Aspect yeah, of it. Private and then now you've got, I take it you've got some, you had some folks from Multnomah County Republicans, some of your speakers. Who are some of your speakers? Actually, there was only one guy. Uh, he, the, the, um, the, the chairman, chairman. Yeah, he, he actually asked me to speak. I didn't even know he was going to show up. He asked me to speak like five minutes before the rally started. Uh, so this has, people kept, people think I have some connection with the Republican Party, but yeah. it's not true. I don't even talk to him. The first time I talked to him was that day. Mm -hmm. um, now, there's that connection because he's dealing with the same stuff I am in terms of that article about him wanting to use the militia for, for security. Well, yeah, yeah, for I don't security. know if you saw that. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I and saw so that. they called me and asked me questions, ah, too. And so I we're see. both in the article. But I see. In terms of, I'm sure we'll work together in the future because we're both dealing with the same mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, I, I'm not part of the Republican Party. You're part of the Libertarian. Party. You're part of Libertarian. I'm more Libertarian, right? but I'm not even part of the Libertarian I Party. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for anyone that I agree with. I'm gonna, you know, I'm not. Every situation is different. Right, you know what right, I mean. Right, so I'm not gonna put myself right, in a box. Right, right, right. Well, in order to vote, you gotta be, be, a, be a part of some party. I got you. Right. I'm, I'm the same. Yeah. I'm, in all due respect, I'm in the same boat. I, mm. I, I've been a Republican for a long time, but I'm a I'm a Lincoln Republican because I want people to go back and talk about that history. Yeah. In terms of how that all derailed as right. it relates to an African American. Right? Yeah. You got me. Mm -hmm. But in all due respect, I had to take my shingle. I took my shingle out of the Republican Party. And I, I went to the Libertarian Party, so I, mm. I'm a Lincoln Republican, and I can vote because I'm I'm still a registered Libertarian. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't a registered, I had to be on somebody, independent yeah. or whatever. But anyway, but, but I'm just kind of like saying to you, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. You can do what you want to do. Okay, so now now that we've done that kind of a situation, now we got all these tags. Now you, you, mm -hmm. we, we've had this deal, and there was all kinds of confrontations and whatever during that particular aspect of it. I, were, were you were you confronted in in some way, shape, or form while you were there before you ended that that particular event? I was confronted when we left by several people who were trying to provoke us. Okay. And I've had several liberals reach out to me and apologize and say that that doesn't represent Portland. That's not what Portland's about. You know, mm -hmm. they're cussing at us, yelling at us. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to get me to respond in hate or punch, because. You know, they hear me constantly preaching about being respectful no matter what, you know, mm -hmm. and responding in love. And um, and we really, as much as people make us to seem differently, we don't believe in violence. Mm -hmm. We will never punch someone because of their speech. Mm -hmm. If we get attacked, then we're going to we're going to defend ourselves. That's mm -hmm. our God given right. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of someone can yell and cuss at us as much as they want, we're not going to we're not going to hit, you know. Okay. But um, there were there were several liberals that did come in, which is a good thing. That's what we wanted. Um, we had, as long as your face was uncovered, mm -hmm. you were allowed in, and as long as you weren't causing any problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had mixed reactions. 
some you know some would just make fun of us but others there was others that said you know joey i'll probably never agree with you but thank you for okay. having a positive message okay. you know um because i tried okay. i tried really hard to have a positive message um but i've had several liberals reach out after who saw some of the film and um a lot of them thanked me um and i people have also been asking me about the anarchists and the antifa they're asking for mm -hmm. advice because a lot of them are afraid to because I called for them to disown them. Mm. A lot of them are afraid to do it in public. Ah. Their fear of violence. Ah. And so um, I think that's something we can all work on together in terms of me disowning the, pe the people who want to say they're extreme right. right. You know, those, those Nazis who I don't even see them. They're just, it's frustrating. And, and any white supremacists, you know, we can work together to disown them or the violent ones and also disown the violent anarchists or violent mm -hmm. antifa or mm -hmm. the ones anyone the ex people mm -hmm. on the extremes who are using mm -hmm. threats of violence mm -hmm. or using hate spewing out mm -hmm. hate and they're doing it to divide all these people who are around here in the middle mm -hmm. you know these people are tearing everyone apart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right now so i see that as an opportunity to work well, with why people. is it why is it that police doesn't react to that to those specific individuals when you when you it's a great question. I think that's something that needs to be talked about. As you know, you know, I support the police as a whole, as a general, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to... I support the individual police officer on the street, mm -hmm. but in terms of their technique of how they do things, if mm -hmm. there's issues, let's let's fix that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if, if they're too rough on a group, if they label a whole group as anarchists, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah. and they disperse that whole crowd, mm -hmm. I can see, you know, that's I can see that's something to talk about. That's problem, yeah. um, if an individual officer is violent or kills someone, you know, let's throw them in jail mm -hmm. and throw the keys away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but I haven't seen the film of how all I know is, is they cleared out that whole park. And I'm sure there's tons of peaceful protesters in there. But I don't know how they're going to pick individuals out when, some, when someone's throwing stuff. So that's hard. I don't, I don't know. But that's definitely something to talk about. Mm -hmm. But I guess my point is that yeah, obviously if you can see someone throwing something. You know, bang, throwing something, maybe mass and throwing something mm -hmm. aspect of it. That person should be, i.e., identified, right? Yeah. Can someone point that out? Would, would there be a problem with pointing? Hey, look, or even helping out get that person. Got my point. Yeah. Well, their technique, their technique is so that the police will have no idea who did it. That's why they do their black block. Ah. Uh, That's done on purpose so they can, you know, they all look the same, and uh, they all blend in. Ah. Uh, and so. You know, that's why that's the a training the, kind of a deal. Yeah, it is training. That's why the left needs to separate themselves from them because there's a lot of legitimate people on the left that just want to protest. Okay. You know, look at May Day. Mm -hmm. May Day got shut down mm -hmm. because a couple of kids wanted to cause problems. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so interesting. Okay, now look here. I want to like get it just get going to this particular point right now. Here we are today, mm -hmm. trying to figure out what is the next event. Well, a lot of these things is now shifted, if you will, still in the Portland metropolitan area, but i.e. in the black community, so mm -hmm. to speak, okay? Then all of a sudden, letters, you've, been, you've been seeing the newspapers aspect of it, about yep. the KKK and this, that, and the other, and this, that, and the other. And this is one particular letter, and I'm just going to be straight up about it, mm -hmm. right up front with you. A lot of folks are very nervous about this situation, and naturally people are reacting on the other one side and saying, well, gee, we better prepare ourselves because it's going to happen. We're trying to prevent that kind of thing from happening aspect of it. So this is the letter that, and I'm going to just read it. I, I, I think I can sure. read it. I'm going to read it. People need and to know I, what it they says. Need, they need to know what it says. I mean, just right up front. It not, naturally, I don't like the idea of reading it, but the point is that we need, to, we need to understand this is on the street, and we need to know who wrote this piece, okay? This is what it says. To all nigger lovers and niggers, our President Trump has issued an executive order to kill all niggers. Niggers will die at this so-called good in the hood. That, that President Sean Penny needs to keep his mouth shut before my 30 art 6 does it for him. Once a slave, always a slave. White power to the fullest. This is my freedom of speech. Uh, we, the white KKK, now own the North and Northeast Portland. So let that black monkey eating piece of shit know. We are watching him and his family. The good in the hood will not happen unless you want to see a bloodbath. White power, Trump supporter, freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. What do you say about that? What do you think? I think that that's that's a huge problem. I think that's that's people trying to put fear into other people's hearts, and um, I really I really hope that they they don't cancel it because mm -hmm. this that's that's what they do. That's yes. what on both sides they 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 do threats to try to have fear control people, um, and. You know, obviously, I'm sure you know the police are aware of that. So hopefully, they can be down there to to protect the uh, 
good in the hood. And if there's anything that we can do, I know that a lot of us probably aren't welcomed in, mm -hmm. in places like that, but like we would do, we would do anything to help them to make sure that that was safe. I mean, we would provide security. We would provide people. Um, that's something, see, this is what's important to me. I want people to feel free to go out and to do stuff, mm -hmm. you know, especially, you know, they're going to have this event good in the hood. The fact that people are, are trying to, scare them pisses me off mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. not okay and it's a diverse group understand what i'm saying yeah. it's a diverse group but they have that right you know what i'm saying yeah but not, but but that that area is kind of like identified if you will as the black community see right. to me it's a community where a number of the residents happen to be black yeah it's not a total black community mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you got me so good uh in fact i happen to i will make sure that i contact this person i know you and then at some point in time, if it's necessary, if it's cool, he can call you. And if you can, if you want to offer, it, you're offering it right now publicly. Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? If you want, if, if he wants to be, a, in fact, be a participant up there, hell, we can ride up there together. I'll get my yeah. car. We'll all ride together. In fact, I'll even get Joe in there with me. I don't know. He's gonna be talking to him in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is something that we want to make sure we want to clear up that this is not something that 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 your particular group is an end where supports it one way at all, as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Um, I got tons of people within my so-called group. I don't mm -hmm. really have a group, but they, right. they contacted me and sent me this and they're furious because, you know, the question is who did it? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the question, right? Mm -hmm. We got to get down to that. Okay. And the fact that they said free speech in it several times, like they're obviously, it's obviously trying to take a hit at what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's not a coincidence that they came out right after the rally, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A free speech rally. Right. And so, um, we're concerned about it, but, um, we want to support Portland with any anyone who's being peaceful and and coming out. Like I don't care if this is what people need to understand. I don't care if if you're an extreme if you're le if you're a communist and you're out there marching and and you're peaceful and you're not breaking the laws and people are trying to shut you down. We would protect you, mm -hmm. even though we don't agree with anything they say. Mm -hmm. If anyone is having issues with their freedom of speech, you know, on the left or whatever, we will be there for them. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just like the gay parade. You know, we're having issues with freedom of speech up there in Seattle, and we might have to get involved. We might have to end up marching in there to protect a certain group mm -hmm. that's being kicked out. Mm -hmm. So we're here for everyone. People don't see it that way. They don't understand that. But eventually, the more they get to hear me speak and, and talk to us, they'll understand that. Um, that and my beliefs aren't really going to, you know, my beliefs are, I have a foundational thing, but I'm very, I'm very flexible. Mm -hmm. You know, there's certain core values that I, I rely upon, mm -hmm. you know, and everything else is on top of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Well, in all due respect, that's one of the reasons why I've invited you over here, because to give you an opportunity, if you will, to share your feelings and your thoughts and, and to be able to express yourself accordingly. You got my point? Yeah. And now we are addressing this issue. See, it's on the table. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the viewing audience will get to the mayor or whomever, for that matter. Because, you know, I, I was thinking about the, um, the Rose Festival Parade. I was looking at it the other day, yesterday, and they, they, it, it wasn't on commercial TV like it used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, like the City of Roses kind of routine, mm -hmm. big festive kind of a deal aspect of it. They had it on a separate channel. It wasn't even on the main channel aspect of it. And you could see it was small, and it wasn't that much involved. But then you start, when you look at it, though, you see a lot of the seniors there and a lot of the kids, they still love the idea of the clowns and, and all the activities and whatever, but uh, they didn't have that opportunity, you see what I'm saying? And so right now, uh, uh, this, the, the, the City of Roses is being projected as the, as the whitest city in the, in, the, in the country, that type of deal, and that's, and that's put in such a negative fashion kind of a routine. So the key is that part of what I'm looking at doing, part of doing what we're doing right now, it's time to rebuild. We need to go back up up to the other other situation mm -hmm. same thing so so that's why one of the reasons i wanted to have you here and i wanted to I want to share this piece and um and i wanted to i wanted to make sure we address this piece but yeah. that's the key got me and then that i don't like the idea of using the word niggas because it it does it does tend to put fuel to the fire in terms of distress and whatever but uh, well, that's why that word was used just exactly yeah. exactly exactly and so the people need to know that that's there got mm -hmm. me and then and you're right i will i will definitely get to the uh to the uh, some of the sponsors and the folks who are actually involved in putting that issue up as far as good in the hood and get you guys to communicate with one another and if they can use your your, your support and their endeavor fine or vice versa but at least we're communicating and they know for a fact you're the person that that's running that particular organization and you know your people not mm -hmm. that you can control all the other elements that are right. there but the fact of me is they'll know who you are 
Yeah. Is that fair? That's very okay, fair. Good. And then what I was going to do, and then my, that my last question would be, is that and next I'm going to have Joe, mm -hmm. and Joe's going to spend his time aspect of it. And uh, and at the end of the day, if, if things work out pretty good, because you still have to deal with, with your folks, the folks that you relate to, got me, and vice versa with him. But see if we can have some kind of a little debate where we kind of talk. That's basically, It's not a debate more than it is. A, 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 yeah. A, a question and answer deal. He asks you a question. He asks you. You know, we we talking. That's what it is, right? Is that yeah. fair? That but it has right? nothing to do with my people, though. That's right. But I, I'm just I saying. do what I, I do what I want. I, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was still in the court, you'd be gone the next week. You know that, don't you? <laughs> okay. But uh, anything else? Anything else you want to say? What are you gonna do now? What, what's 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 your, what's your next? Uh, well, the next thing is Evergreen State College. Evergreen State. Um, okay. You know, we're gonna go down there and just march down there have a couple speeches then use chalk to write messages because I've had several students reach out to me and say that they've been um, bullied and intimidated I've had you know even liberal students reach out to me um, you know that professor that refused to leave you know I don't like the way that he was treated because mm -hmm. um, they wanted everyone to leave based off of your skin color mm -hmm. like I said I don't think that I think we should fight all forms of racism not mm -hmm. just part of the time right, it should be right, all the time right, right. Um, and then um, you know, we got some other events. July 2nd, we'll go down to L.A., but basically August is going to be a month where we have some really big rallies all over all over the West Coast. July, mm -hmm. we're going to take some time off to, to prep mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, what's, the, what's the wife saying about all this stuff? <laughs> the wife and the kids, man. I mean, what, what, what's the wife saying about this stuff? Huh? There's a funny what's picture. There, she was at the rally, and someone took a picture of her next to me. Yeah. And it was a guy who doesn't like me, but he said, uh, he said this looks like, because she looked all... Uh, concerned and she's yeah. like this looks like a woman who's um she uh questioning her life choices <laughs> no but she she supports me yeah. um she's 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 scared but um the one thing she wants me to have a purpose in life that means more than anything to her you know and me too i mean i, I want to have a purpose i want to i'm in this 100 percent um that's why i'm doing it you know it's it's pretty stressful a lot of people hate me <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. um but i'm committed you yeah, know i yeah. gave it all up to god so well, you know, in all due respect, you know, when I was coming up, I'm basically the same way. But I had an outlet. It was called the Marine Corps. See? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I got in the Marine Corps, boot camp, you know. I mean, I was raw, raw, raw every day. Yeah. You know, drop me in the jungle and I'll come back. Mm -hmm. I don't need a, I don't need anything but a switch. I mean, my point is that that's all that adrenaline and all this, this, that, and the other. And it's, unfortunately, we don't have that outlet thing now. You, right. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. It's not time when people start talking about the draft. Oh, no, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we still have a country. You know, we, we got to, we got to maintain you know things are things are getting very very difficult at this point in time finding leadership is tough yeah finding leadership is tough no man's an island right you got it right. and yeah. so it's a tough deal but hey we're gonna we're gonna work this thing out yeah is that fair absolutely okay we're gonna take a short break and i'm gonna have joe here and i hope you'll stick around and, yeah. and this is what joe has to say okay yeah That's definitely cool. let's take a short break dave okay You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend.
Okay, I'm back, and I got my friend Joe here with me, Joe Walsh. You've seen Joe. He was on the show here once before with me, right? Yes. And then we then we did the we did Multnomah County. We did the veterans thing. Remember you and I? That was pretty cool. That was I like pretty that. cool. We did a we did a veteran thing, and we were honoring veterans of Memorial Day. And naturally, we were trying to make sure that the that the brother who just died uh, on that that whole in that incident, Mr. Betts. Uh, Mr. Betts. Yeah. Yes. Got a. I mean, he got it, got re recognized the fact who he was and and got it got it burial right. Yeah, he was buried that way. And we had we had we had we had was it we had Army, Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard. We had Coast Guard there too. Coast Guard. Okay, right, right. And it was really great, and it was kind of a neat neat kind of a deal because we also talked a little bit. Of, yeah, he was a great was hero. A, he was a he was a heck of a, a hero aspect of it. It's unfortunate that that happened that day, but. We did that, and I might add that I want to thank Deborah Kafori again for giving us the opportunity. She's the chair of Multnomah County, gave us the opportunity uh, to do that right there in the boardroom. I thought that was great, and I might add too that you know I'll just be straight up with it, and hopefully Ted will come to the table at some point in time. I did approach, <laughs> I did, I did approach the city of Portland to do the same thing, but but they did not want to participate. I mean, I, I made several calls and. They tried. They posted the call or whatever. And as you note, that that same day, I I went to Ted and right there, right in front. Yes. Of me, and but didn't say he didn't reach out. But hey, Mr. Mayor, you know you can you can you can come out anytime you want to. You sit right here at the table, and you know as far as I'm concerned, you you are elected mayor of the city of Portland now. Yeah. That, and we're right nonviolent. Time. We don't bite. And that's right. That's right. I, I know I don't. Do you? I'm not gonna bite him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, Joe. Look here, you you just you just got through hearing uh, Joey Gibson, right, Joey? Yes. And I thought he was quite an interesting young man, very neat young man, very family-oriented man. And typically, when we were young, we were kind of had that little adrenaline too at times. Yes. Like, Is that fair? Is that fair yes. to say? You got me. Well, I would. I I start thinking about when I was a when I was in in, in Marine Corps boot camp aspect of it. Wow. And when I got out that when I got out when I graduated and. I was I was uh, I was the guide on for that for that unit aspect of it. Uh, they could have, as far as I'm concerned, well, I had so much adrenaline. I mean, they could just basically take me up in one of those uh, choppers or something or, or or whatever or Huey or whatever and drop me in the jungle with nothing and I could come back. I mean, that's that's the kind of adrenaline I had during that time. You got me? I wasn't gonna do that one. And you could do no, that. No, one? No, I, no, I felt that with Joy, and then I got to be. I a, came from Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. If you drop me in the jungle yes. with nothing, yes, yeah, they would eat me. Really? Yes. They well, would eat me in a well, couple I thought, days. I thought you were in Brooklyn. I'd be lunch. But I thought you were in Brooklyn. Well, <laughs> Brooklyn Brooklyn is tough. Huh? It, it's totally Isn't that there in the jungle. No, okay, all right. Would not survive all right, the jungle. All right, all right. Well, I guess, all. Okay, I guess we better go on and get serious here, aspect of it. Uh, we put, we talked about this before, aspect of it. But, hey, let's talk about the, no, the 4th of June. What happened the 4th of June? And, and uh, just lay it out to us. I'm going to give well, you the floor. Well, uh, I think, in my opinion... That the uh, the police department tried to murder me. Really? Now I was in Chapman Park. I was among the anarchists. I was also among 500 people that were in that park. Okay. There were 500 people in Lawsdale too. There were over a thousand people in those two parks. Okay. All right. There were anarchists, obviously agitating the other side. Okay. Because that's what anarchists do. Okay. They had to take the other side. Okay. But there were hundreds mm. of old people, kids. Mm. There were kids in that park. I saw some kids that were four or five years old, and we were kidding around with them. Mm. And I was sitting on a bench. Mm. But why was Joe there? Joe was there to stand in front of Joey okay. and say, I think you're wrong. Okay, wrong about how? If their positions... And this is the pro the problem with this. What you just heard from Joe, he sounded really good. He sounded like one of the guys I would sit on a park bench with, one of the anarchists, or one of the nonviolent people, or one of the what I call cocktail liberals. Mm -hmm. All right, and his words were really good. I liked those. I liked his words, but they're like what I branded Mayor Wheeler with. They're sugar words. They don't mean anything. All right. This is a very violent group. And if Joey says that he's not violent, his group is violent. We keep getting more and more information about people being threatened, about Nazi signs being put up, about codes on their helmets. 
You know, you cannot stand there and say, I'm a nonviolent person, but I'm going to kill you like that says. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. Now, we do that. We stand there and we say, we're nonviolent. If you hit me, I will not hit you back. I will be in your face. I will embarrass the hell out of you, but I will not hit you back. But, That's nonviolence, mm -hmm. according to Gandhi. But what about some of those other folks that are around you? When you're okay, you mean the back? anarchists? That's right. That's okay. part, that's part Let's of your group. Let's talk about the anarchists. They, they identify with this group, right? As Joey said, with his group. Okay. And some of the affiliated groups. Right. Okay. That he criticizes. Right. I criticize the anarchists. Okay. Are they perfect? No, they're not perfect. A lot of them are young. Mm-hmm. All right, they have a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for 40 years. 40 years? That's right. Jeez, Jeff. And I don't know anything anymore. Jeez, Jeff. Because everything's turned upside Jeez. down. Jeez. Joey sat here and said, I support Trump. Yeah, right. Trump supports the Russians. Can you imagine 10 years ago that Republicans or Libertarians would be aligned with the Communists? That's who they are. Putin is a communist, and he's buddy buddies with the very guy you're, you're supporting, which is weird. Everything is turned upside but, down. But, but let's, let's, okay, I'm going to follow this deal, okay. Because you guys used to say over and over again, years ago, commies are underneath the bed. Okay. Commies are coming. The Russians are coming. Remember that? Remember? Russians are coming. And now they're aligned with them. It's so crazy. So when Joey sits down here, and I really do hope we have a debate, and we can keep it reasonable, and he says something, those are sugar words. They don't mean anything. Yeah, but those are. His I want to see the action. Yeah, but no, but I want to see, I want to see okay. them hold a group gathering without any security. No but he, security. You can't do that with all these other outsiders, just like you can. Let the cops do it. You, you're, you're okay now with Did the cops? Did I have security? No. I didn't have any security. I was sitting on a park bench in yeah, Chapman but, Square, but, 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 in yeah, the middle Joe, of the whole thing. Yeah, but still, Joe. Did, did Joey bother me? No. Okay, okay. Do I give him credit for that? Yes. But what about these other folks that try to associate with you against him, his group? They don't associate with me. No, but my point is that, but Individuals they're... for Justice stands by itself. Yeah, but what about we are not anarchists? aligned okay. but... with, with the anarchists. Okay. We don't agree with many of their okay. Uh, okay. Um, um, basic okay. concepts. Okay. However, the anarchists have protected a lot of the cocktail liberals against the very people that Joey associates with. That's the problem. We have these two groups. And we have elements of both sides that are very militant. And they're the ones that are fighting. But what if we, but what it's if we got Joey's it? job and my job okay. All right. and your job All and right. everybody else's right. to try to figure out how do we stop that. And that's what we're doing now. And that's, what we're saying, yeah, what we're what we're about. saying here, yeah, right. and I hope Joey says it next week if we get into a debate, yeah. if you commit violence, you're wrong. Okay. You're wrong. Okay. Period. Yeah. Yeah. You say self-defense is okay. I think it's still wrong because you hurt somebody, you hurt their family, you hurt their relatives. It goes on and on and on. Yeah. And we got to stop that. Right. Joey well, and both, I, both if sides. we sit down next week, both sides. maybe it'll get hot. Yeah, maybe both sides. Maybe both sides. But no, we've agreed to something. We agreed. We've agreed you don't touch. Yeah. We, 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 no we, touching. But, but, my point is that you, but my point is that you can only control your particular group, right? I can't wait, wait, control wait. my particular group. They're human beings. Okay. They're going to do what they want to do. So if they touch someone, you... you, you they're you, wrong. They're wrong. Okay. All right. I don't care what story. the reason is. That's if you kill somebody, it's wrong. Okay. Even self-defense. You should be sad that you took a life. Right, right. You may have to do it legally. You may get away with it. Right. But you should be sad. Right, 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 right. You took a life. Okay. Let's talk about, let's talk about the fact that, uh, you know, let's just get right down to the meat of the matter. Now, what about our, our, you know, communicating at City Hall, if you will? The communication uh, at City on this Hall is almost here. non-existent. On, on, this, on this issue, on the issue that we're talking about now. It's almost non-existent because that... you can't talk to this mayor. This mayor, number one, lies. Lied to Joe, Joey. I, Joey said here and he said, no, we all thought 
from reading the newspapers and talking to each other that the mayor actually asked him personally to, to call this thing off because of the deaths of the two heroes and the one guy that was still in the hospital when the mayor was running his mouth. Mm -hmm. And then we find out he lied. He didn't ask him. Hmm. And I'm not sure what Joe would have done if he was asked. I think if he was, if he, if the words that he used with you is reality and not bull, bull puppy, <laughs> he might have said, no, okay, we'll postpone it. Yeah. We'll figure something out yeah. because of these deaths. Yeah. And, 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 and the actual horror that we all felt. I mean, I, re I didn't know these guys. But I, I, I mean, I was broken when I heard this. I said, my God, you know, these guys did what they were supposed to do. You can't yell at young girls like that. You can't do that. Well, you know, but the and then they lost their lives, two of them. Well, but, but at the same time, if we want to spend a couple minutes in that end of it, aspect of it, you know, uh, I had sort of a, 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 a exchange, if you will, with the, with the gentleman, the Christian, to a certain degree. But I had no problem with him, you know what I mean? I walked up to him and said, hey, what's... What's the problem? You know, I had an after uniform. He said, sir, I'm sorry. I mean, bang. You You're know? talking about Joey? No, no, I'm talking about Christensen. I'm talking about the young, the dude, the dude that basically... The guy that the the slit yeah, the fur? Yeah. You talked to him? Yeah, that's, that's hey, it. Well, ain't no problem with me. But my point is, but my point is, I felt that the guy had some problems. He had mental problems then. And I, I felt that something should be taken care of. We got a problem in this city. In this city right now, we don't have a place where these folks can go, if you will, for medical attention, Okay. We got mental issues right here. Got me? Yes, and and the, the county is the one that's responsible for that's mental right. health. That's right. That's right. And they set up this thing in in I think in one of the hospitals, Emmanuel or something like that, for this very purpose. Here's the problem with this stuff: you got a human being that is suffering, and he he or she is in the middle of the road and screaming. Okay, and they have something in their hands. All cops will kill them. Yeah, but, but, but if it's black, they will kill them in a minute. If it's white, they may kill them. See what I'm saying? If you're absolutely right, we have no protocol that we can go down and get this guy or this woman who's screaming and yelling, mm -hmm. all right, and being very scary. Mm -hmm. We have no protocol. I can't understand that if you have four or five cops, big cops, that they can't take down someone my size. Well, they, but they, but they I gotta, mean, what is no, that? All, all due respect, or a kid. But you know, in all due respect, today's cop is not the, the quote, the, the symbol, if you will, uh, of authority. Because a lot of, you know, i.e. through the whole issue of affirmative action, they have to get little people, they have to get women. Uh, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. They got to get little guys. And a lot of those folks are scared. They are scared. A, a lot of the incidents, a lot of the incidents of the person that was suffering a mental me a meltdown. Right, right, right. All right. There were hours. It wasn't right away. There's some of them that's right away. Boom. You got to make a decision right away. Okay. We can almost look at that. And you'll never get a conviction on that one. You'll never get an indictment against the police. However, some of them lasted hours. All right. You mean to tell me that okay. we have all these okay. hospitals around here, mm -hmm. all these psychiatrists around here, all these cops around here, and we can't take down one woman? Would you give me a break? We take yeah. down tigers, for God's sakes, yeah. or, or mad dogs. We can't take down so, a woman. So who's responsible for that? The mayor. The mayor. He, he is he, the police commissioner. He's the police. Yeah, he, he's he, well. He's the mayor. Which is he, weird. He's it should never be that way. But it is. That's of, what but, we got. That's the way it is. Aspect of it. That's and right. They do have a union. They have a union. And yeah, you know we have a union. And you know what the definition of a union is, right? Well, I used to be a chief union steward, so you know, I'm a little biased. Yeah, yeah that's right. We're, we're, you're biased, and there's there's no difference between the same situation with they are, right? They're biased. They don't of tend to, they, they tend to not to respond to the mayor, right? Of course they yeah. are. You got me? So how do we fix that? You mean a police union? Yeah. I think it, it'll take a lot of work. First of all, the police have been indicted by the Department of Justice for the last four years. They've been under indictment, mostly about medical, mostly about psychological breakdowns and how they react. 
they use excessive force. The Department of Justice found that out. That's not coming from me. When there's a problem and you recognize the problem, you sit down and you say, okay, what's the solution? The problem, our problem is we've had two mayors now that won't even recognize the problem. Because all they keep saying is, I love the police department. Police department doing a good job. And I love the, and, 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 and even though that we drop bombs on the, on the fourth on kids and old men like me, they chase me out of the park all the way up to Fifth Avenue. Because if, if tear gas or any of that stuff got into my lungs, I would have been dead. So they pulled me out of the park. The anarchists pulled me out of the park. And one of them put me into a, a Veterans for Peace car and got me out of the area because they were so terrified that if I breathed in that stuff, I would have been dead. Let me ask Joe a question. I'm going to ask you a question. You tell me. I know you've been in this business, like you said, for 40 years. Why was Joe there that day? I was there that, that day to stand in front of Joe and say you're wrong. But, but okay. That's what I was there for. Yeah, that's all, just to say you're wrong. Specifically, but, Look, but it, was, was, it, was it a Trump thing uh, more, more than anything else? Or? I believe Okay. that these guys are no different than the brown shirts in Germany, 1920s, 1930s, in the early years when they formulated. The brown shirts came out of working class guys, just like Joe, just like me, just like you. Uh -huh. That's where they came out of, all right? But they used to go through the streets, and what they would do is they would use their propaganda and tell people, got to think this way. And then in and in 30s, when they got maybe 10,000, 50,000, they started to say, you know what? Those Jews over there, they cause all the problems. They were the ones that put Hitler into place. But you still think that... And they Hitler turned around and screwed them and murdered them. I mean, but I mean, that's and they were replaced by the Gestapo in 1939, somewhere around there. And you feel there's a start of doing that now? That's right. That's what we're afraid of. So I'll stand face to face with Joe and say you're wrong. Okay. But can he do the same thing to you? He's damn right he can. Okay. Okay. As long as he doesn't touch me. Okay. Well, but no, no, it works both ways, you know. It works both ways. Yes. Right? It, it, works it both always ways. works so, both ways. Okay. But I guarantee Joe, Joey, that I will not touch him. Okay. Will he do the same for me? I would hope so. Yeah. Well, now, now check At it out. At least according to what he said to you. Yeah, right, right. Now, here, here's this letter. I read this letter off, right? Oh, I, oh, I need that. Yeah. I read it. I, I read it. You, you read it, and, I, and I, I read this letter. I, I, could, I could read it again. But the bottom line is, what say if uh, the the folks on your side, not you and, and the group you're talking about, but that, that side and a group, what say if they were responsible for doing that, what would you say? I know who's responsible for it. If they were responsible. Who? The anarchy that was with you, helping you out. You mean they planted the letter and blamed just, the other that, side? That happens a lot of times, you know. Sure does. Okay. What What if that happened? What would you say? I condemn him. Okay. I don't yeah. care. I don't care who wrote that. That person there should be arrested. I don't think they can get a conviction, but he should be arrested or she should be arrested and, and at least put him through. They arrest me when we're protesting, knowing that they're not going to get any charges okay. Okay. because they, there's no case. Okay. okay. Do the same thing to them. Make them miserable okay. because they, they cause a lot of misery and hurt okay. on both sides, according okay. to Joe. Okay. Okay. Joey. Okay. Well, well, actually, it, it's a problem now for everybody. It's a huge problem. Okay, it's a problem. So but bottom that's line, the kind they, of they, stuff. But they got the flyers with them. I'm saying, and they're handing out flyers. Would you basically uh, approach them and talk to them about this piece? What, if someone was handing that out? Yeah, yeah. I tell them to get the hell out of here. Okay, but what about? Hey, I don't want them go, in my city. But if they got okay, good. But my point is, they're going to go from hit point A to point B. Why can't we we, we apprehend this guy, or whomever, and hold him? Well, they, so, I think they're looking for him. I think the FBI and the police department have made statements that they're looking for him. But can we? Can but we? Put it's going to be very difficult to but, find but can, who that is. But can't we put a wanted poster out there saying, "Okay, look here, our group is saying we want this guy." Anybody sees this guy? Well, I think Joey said that on yeah, the end. Yeah, he said, yeah. On his side, I'm saying it on our side. Okay, okay. If it, anybody that wrote it on our side and then somebody knows about it, turn them in. Good, okay, okay, okay. That, that's, because that's fair. That and and uh, if it turns out that our side did that, we have to apologize for that. Right, right, okay, okay, okay. And we have to apologize to Joey on that. Okay, okay. You know how hard okay. that would be? And you know, and it that, would take two mochas for me to do that. And then the, the other side of this name corn is that 
you, you know, again, that person is here, he's, he's American, American, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We may have to ask the question to them, what, what was the rationale for doing such and like that, right? It's ugly stuff. No, but what's the rationale, right? They're crazy. Okay, and, and that's not, I'm, I'm, this, that's not 80% of society, right? You'd agree. It's not 90%. It's not 70%. It's not 60%. And we use the old term 10% all the time, right? Fair? It's ugly stuff. It, it, it's... When I first read it, I just cried. Well, somebody printed this. And then I got really angry. You know? This is 2017, for God's sake. Yeah. This is not the 1960s or 1950s. Mm -hmm. And we still get this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't... If I was if I was a minority or a person of color, I would be so heartbroken. I'd be so angry all the time. I'm angry enough just knowing this shit happens. Oh, uh, I tried so hard not to say that. That's really ugly stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm glad he apologized for it. Well, both sides, right? We 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 all apologize. It, it, not for me. No, no. The reason why I'm saying we apologize, it's an issue that we got to take care of. Yes. We got to be together to do that. It can't okay, take just maybe one. Maybe what comes out of something like this is that both sides understand that we have crazy people. That's right. Including and, me. And, and when we, you use language like this or the very president that you support, Joe, Joey, that he says things like that. He implies that. With his ban on Muslims, that's what this stuff is. Well... It begins here and ends ends with somebody being killed. That's what happens. That's well, what happened to these guys. Well, we're we're, we're talking to me. Like I said, the issue and the Muslim issue. That's another issue. We got we got three different groups right here, uh, within the city of Portland. And in all due respect, I'm trying to get them to come to the table aspect of it because it's from their group. They have folks that identify with, with that with that particular group, and it's their responsibility to deal with that issue. We Fair? actually had four groups. I don't know about the fourth one. The cops. Oh, okay, you got the cops. And let's think about this for a minute. We had a couple of thousand uh, of people that, that made up 40 different groups that were in front of City Hall. Right. And some of them, like me, were in Chapman, just sitting in Chapman. Because I don't like the cocktail. I'd much rather be with these guys. The good news is that their side did not riot, that I know of anyway. Our side did not riot that I know of. So until you get okay. The only side that riot were the cops. And they went in and they tried to kill me. I'm telling you, that sounds weird. But they if they would have succeeded with that gas and I got stuck on that bench and I had to breathe in that gas, I would have died. Okay. My lungs were in such shape that I would have died. Well you're sharing. And what did I do? What 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 did I do, yeah. Mr. Mayor, that you wanted to murder me? Yeah. That's what I want to ask him. Ask him. And guess what? Ask him. Ask him right now. I'll ask him here. And guess right. what? Wednesday, I got my three minutes in communication, oh. and I'm going to ask him again. Okay. Why did you try to murder me? Okay. And it's got nothing to do with Joey's crew. Okay. Okay. It's the cops and the politicians. Well, I think are as bad as Joey's group. How's that? That's your feeling. That's my now, feeling. Now he, if he has the same feeling about your group. That's right. That's right. See, but my point is that we're, we're, we're discovering it right now that, that that element, that other element other than your group is part of the rationale for his end of it and vice versa with him, with you. Fair? Uh, you like solutions. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to uh, solve this tonight. No, no, no. We're not no, going to no, solve no, no. this next week. But this is a start. Okay, it's, 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 a, it's a baby a, step, a, a little bit start. of baby step, it's a, it's a start. and start. there'll be people that are watching this that will be pissed off at me right. about, oh, you said nice things about Joey, and there'll be people that will watch Joey and say, what the hell are you talking about? Look. Stay focused on what you're We are human beings. That's right, that's right, that's right. Here's some really concrete values that's for right. you. Right. If you hate a group of people because of their ethnic background, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Totally wrong. Mm -hmm. No argument. Mm -hmm. We should all be able to agree on that. Well, you know, we went through that in the military, remember? Remember? Yeah. I had the Marine. You guys would say a whole bunch of things about me. You used the Navy. You say all kinds of things about oh, me. Oh, we did. We and did. I said a whole bunch of things about you guys, you know? Yes. I'd be kicking ass. Excuse the French, but, but that's what we do, right? Yes. And we start drinking that beer. At the end of the day, we're all buds, right? That's right. Got me? So now we have different branches right now, right? Yeah. There ain't no problem. So, so all I'm saying in, in essence is that 
Can we, we get better? We, yes. Yeah, we're we going to get better. better. So we're we going to take care of this. We want to get this situation out of our midst. So if you see this letter, if you see anybody tagging it on or, or putting it on the wall or this, that, and the other, guess what? You, you got your magic wands. What do you call it? What do, what do you call these? These magic wands here. Take a picture of them. Take a picture of the cards that they're driving or whatever, and report the guy. Right? Is that yeah. fair? Or whoever it is. You got me? Okay. Yeah, more than one person knows who did that. Yeah, what was that? More than one person. Yeah, they knows do. Who yeah, did. they do. Yeah, they do. So we'll pick them out. No problem. Yeah. yeah okay. Sounds good. Okay. I don't want to get my togs. I don't want to get my boots out. I'm in a whole different ball game right nowadays. But anyway. You know, a lot of this stuff is fear yeah. of the other. Well, that's what he was. That's what. That's the point he made. You know, he, he made that, that point. People are Making afraid to sit down and talk about. Okay, we have to do something because yeah. our country is in a mess now. One of the problems is my concept of it's in a mess may not be even close to what Joey thinks is in a mess. Yeah. But he's saying the same thing because both of us feel it, that this country is on the brink of a total meltdown. But, the, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not. We're going to take care of it. He's a young man, just like when we were coming up. Oh, yeah, I got to turn I mean, this yeah, over yeah, to the yeah, young yeah, guys, really. Yeah, I got to get out of your way. You know, as a recruiter, Marine, I mean, I'd, I'd take him tomorrow. <laughs> He'd be solid as a rock, as far as I'm concerned. But well, the fact, man, we're talking, okay? That's fair? Yes, okay? Good. And, and that's to your credit that you got the two of us here to talk. Yes. That both of us are willing to risk right. the ramifications right. from our groups right. Right. that we're willing to talk. Good. That's a good step. That's a good step. And then we'll bring the mayor here, see? Then we'll have all three of you guys. <laughs> and we'll all talk. I don't know, you know. Oh, we're going to get him here. But that, 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 you, you know, bring hey. the mayor in, I start cursing. Oh, we, 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 I'm we, telling you, I look, can't uh, hold myself back. Okay, well, listen, I'll bet you a six-pack on that. I'm going to get him. I'm gonna get mocha. Him. Uh, what's that? Mocha. Mocha, you going to get a mocha? Yeah, a little mocha. I'll give you a mocha, okay. So, Ted, you got to come to the table. Please talk to Joe next next Wednesday about this particular issue. You know what I mean? He, he's got a question he want to ask you, okay? But anyway, that we've done the show. Yeah, don't, don't be serious. Are oh, you guys Okay. Do it. Oh, wait. Come, on, come over here. Let's shake a little hand. We're going to get together, right? Let's put this. Let's put our hand in. We're going to get together for this debate piece next week. Okay? Okay. All right. We're all together, baby. We're going to do the debate. There you go. God bless America, baby. Out of sight. Okay, good. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you next week. Love you. That's what it's all about. Remember, hang in there. Back to what you believe in. I'll see you next week. Take care.